Welcome to Untold Reacts, the channel where I let untold stories be told to me. Today, we are going to be jumping back into some Legend of Korra. I'm excited to get back into it. Last episode, we met Mako's new girlfriend, who had a father who created the cars of the Avatar universe. And, uh, seems a little sketchy, but we don't know yet. I am just curious and want to learn more, so I'm excited to get back into it. I hope you guys are too. Before we do, though, I want to give a quick thank you to my lovely patrons that float over here, as always. They give me the utmost love and support over on Patreon. In every turn, they get four weeks of early content as well as full length reactions so check it out if you guys want to no worries if not i'm gonna shut up let's get into some legend of korra all right she's only had eyes for one fellow mako the feeling seemed mutual until a fateful accident intervened for interesting i don't think i actually really caught on to the fact that she was in the mako so much but okay i expected more of a relationship thing between these two honestly than i did uh mako and korra Hey, Asami. Good morning, sweetie. <laughs> These new uniforms look great. <laughs> <laughs> well, teammates. Cora. There they go. Here we are. <laughs> all alone in the gym. Work with me here, Pabu. You want to look sick and tan in your new uniform, don't you? <laughs> so, I think it makes more sense for me to go for Asami. I was talking about a girlfriend for me. Get some ladies for the rest of us. You know, <laughs> It doesn't seem like a good idea for you to date Cora. You just said she was great two seconds ago. Yeah. She's strong. I'm strong. She's fun. I'm fun. She's beautiful. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Talking about real love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell us all about the magical romance. What? <laughs> She's all into that prissy, beautiful, elegant, rich girl. But let's just pretend. When the heroine fell in love with the enemy general's son, who was supposed to marry the princess, who should do what she did? No, no. The best way to win a boy's heart is to brew a love potion of rainbows and sunsets that makes true lovers. The volcano is starting to make more sense to me now. <laughs> Daddy was in love with someone else before you? That's right. So, so I hung my chin out there and I confessed my love to Tenzin, and the rest is history. <laughs> Fire, parents! <laughs> Played here by the fire parents. No wonder the Avatar's been absent from the papers lately. <laughs> The ferrets advance into Rabaru territory and strikes. Ula dodges. And all three Rabarus are down. On goes Ani and Ula and Omi. <laughs> we were really connecting out there in that ring. You know, I feel like the two of us have been connecting really well out of the ring, too. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Look, I really like you, and I think we were meant for each other. Yikes. I just don't feel the same way about you. Forget I ever said anything. Yikes. That is not fun. <laughs> Amazing out there. Awkward as hell. <laughs> Dinner together, sort of a date situation. Oh, that's really sweet, but... You're the smartest, funniest, toughest, buffest, talentedest, <laughs> incredibest girl in the world. I felt that way since the moment I saw you. We're gonna have so much fun together. This is an interesting dynamic. Okay, sure. This guy in the world, right here, bowling. This is strange. I don't know how to take this uh, triangle, kind of. <laughs> it's realistic, but it's it's, delicious. it's totally interesting. Authentic. That's great, because this is my favorite joint. See, you love water tribe food. I love water tribe food. Here he comes. He's a nasty dude. <laughs> <gasps> well, well, well. No bending, saddest excuse for a team. Avatar. <laughs> Did they just say Avatar? Pretty boy. <laughs> Go for it. I don't. I'm just trying to bait you. If you hit him, we're out of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because this is like the dynamic I actually saw before, but they're kind of alluding to it not even existing, but now they're making it exist. <laughs> that is so much cooler than the Eiffel Tower. Sorry, Paris. I don't know how practical it is, but it's badass. <laughs> game are you playing uh, oh god got them all in a tizzy and i know you're only using him to get back at me i am not you're not worried about him you're jealous you <laughs> what jealous <laughs> don't be ridiculous admit when you're with her you're thinking about me aren't you get over yourself <laughs> i'm just <laughs> other chemistry on the field's gonna be all off tonight. damn it <laughs> Clashes against experience in a battle for the ages. 
Vincent, oh, slams right into her teammates. Goes Mako and Bowling and Kara. Fuck your pines. He had an opening, so I took it. What is up with you two? The parents looking to mount some offense here in round two. He's a one-man bending battalion. <laughs> Not sure what's eaten them, but this is not the same team who took out the Ravaru. The Fire Ferrets win the coin toss. Which element do you choose? I'm gonna take this one. Earth. For the grapple. Chang reverses. Tackle. Another strike from Bolin, and Chang's in the drink. Oh, that was a close one, folks. God. So infuriating. Save but your I, breath. As much as you drive me crazy, I also think you're pretty amazing. <sighs> I like Asami too. I don't know. Things are complicated. You lose the night. This. Ugh. Ah. Uh, this is so bad and awkward. Like. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Uh. You kissed me. You kissed me. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is like the most awkward, backwards fucking relationship triangle I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Don't call me that. You're not my brother, betrayer. Papu, Papu loves me. You traitor. <laughs> I told you dating a teammate was a bad idea. You're a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this sucks, man. I don't know how there's not going to be just awkwardness forever now, like, between at least one of them. All three ferrets take an early visit to zone two. Knocked all the way back into zone three. All three players are totally out of sync tonight. Oh, oh God. <laughs> and this is brought to you by our sponsor, Playmio Instant Noodles. Noodliest noodles in the United Republic. It'll quench you. Nothing's quench you. And Mako plunges it, and the ferrets are bailed out by the bell. They had. <laughs> Yikes. Take advantage of Mako's unforced error. Oh, and a blatant hold by the avatar. Unnecessary roughness. Move back one zone. They only got you up. <laughs> and the avatar is slapped. <laughs> Ferrets are their own worst enemy right now. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Come on, we still have a chance, even if it is a slim one. We don't even deserve to be in the final. Let's just get this over with. The sooner the better. Bolin's knocked into zone two, followed quickly by his brother. And Bolin takes a zinger to the shoulder. Looks Shit. In the drink and out of the mat. Keeps playing with one good arm. <laughs> I gotta hand it to him. This kid's got grit. Uh. Apparently not very long. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be all right. Of course we are. We're brothers. We'll get through this mess. Girls. Seriously. <laughs> what an unbelievable. The Avatar finally gained some ground. Oh, it's shit. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yes. It didn't seem possible, folks, but the fire ferrets are headed to the final. Ah, shoulder, shoulder. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for not giving up on us. We never would have made it this far without you. So, I know things are confusing right now. I hope we can still be friends. Definitely. <laughs> you boys smell something in here? Yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, that's a scent of losers. I hope. Yeah, I'm peeing my pants over here. I've never seen a hat trick like that. Well, thanks. We wouldn't have had the chance to play. So thank you. Uh, everyone's done with the little thank you party. Need some medical attention <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh, oh. I learned from Katara, the best there is. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's the stuff. But we had fun together, didn't we? I had a great time, honestly. You are one of a kind, Bolin. Please? I enjoy praise. Yeah. How's it over already? With a brutal round one knockout, I hmm. hope the ferrets know a good doctor because they're Shit. gonna need one. What the hell? Alright, that's where we end it. Well, damn. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs>
that was a hell of an episode, honestly. Uh, I actually really am starting to enjoy this, like, sport we're playing. Uh, I, I'm unsure what it's called. I think it's just called Pro Bending. <laughs> but uh, either way, it's really interesting to watch. And I, I've actually kind of gotten the rules down a little bit. Um, so, like, you, you kind of get pushed back each zone. And then you cross the line, you're back a zone, back a zone. And the goal is to push them off and everything. It's just, like, really cool how it's done. And how they're able to implement bending into, like, a sport. I don't know. It, it's really realistic and just really cool. And I'm actually coming to enjoy the sport quite a lot. So that's really interesting, especially because I don't really give a shit about any sports. So I don't know. Just had to point it out because I'm I'm intrigued by this sport. And uh, this whole like love triangle thing is really weird because like Korra doesn't mean anything like bad. But I can see how Mako would see her just going from brother to brother, you know, but that's not really how it was even though it was like it, it's it's a complex situation but no one's really meaning bad things other than arguably mako kissing her back that was uncalled for knowing he was with someone else but other than that like no one's really intending harm or any bad feelings towards one another but what they did caused a conjunction of bad feelings and problems for them <laughs> it's, it's an interesting complex situation but um probably the most awkward and downright depressing almost like uncomfortable love triangles i have watched like <laughs> two brothers one's with somebody and the other thought he was doing well and it's just it's so so bad <laughs> but i don't know like i really thought they were kind of setting up her and bolin early on and i never really put her and mako together other than like the episode uh where they were trying to save bolin like, they fell asleep next to each other and stuff. I guess was alluding to it, but I never picked up on it. Like, I, I was really in my head just thinking, like, her and Bolin were going to be together. So this was an entire interesting wrench to throw into that idea I had in my head. Because <laughs> now I'm just confused. Like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> but it's as it should be. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to look at people and just be like, yep, they're together. Like, it, it, it does make sense. They're adding complexity to it. I don't really know which way she's gonna go with them or if either of them like it it's just weird now i don't know <laughs> i don't know what direction they're gonna take with this but i'm not opposed to either it's just really interesting i don't know but uh yeah i don't know I, i'm just really distraught because that was <laughs> an interesting dynamic to play i didn't expect it and I, I don't know. That's, that's how that's where I'm at. That's how I feel. I don't know what else to say. That's just, it was a weird episode for me for that reason. But it wasn't a bad episode or any, anything like that. Like, it was still great. I really enjoyed the, uh, the chemistry between them. Even when it's like the way it was, it was still goofy and funny. And I could, like, walk, like I could laugh at it and just enjoy it, you know? Even though it was, like, semi-aggressive banter. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, this show just has a, a way of giving you the right kind of quirks for the right situation and avatar was really good at that as well so it makes sense but uh i don't know all in all i'm just really enjoying my presence in the show so far but not a lot to say for that episode it was great though <laughs> but i'm gonna leave it there thank you so much for stopping by and i will see you in the next one bye